overriding vetoes and moving bills. The Kentucky General Assembly returned to action today. It was an unusual sight in unusual times, but with some of the same old political fights, WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams has the story from Frankfurt. Check that out. In the Senate, that's not grandpa's special cough medicine next to President Stiver's gavel. That's hand sanitizer from a distillery. Bottles of it are on senator's desks. Practicing social distancing means all of today's action takes on an unusual look and quite a bit of time for lawmakers to relay texted vote information to key colleagues. They got to work overriding vetoes on five bills, including Senate Bill 2, the photo voter ID bill. And they began to tackle some of the 20 to 30 bills poised for passage despite COVID-19 delays, which brought questions about priorities. We, we understand that any bills we pass today uh, are subject to a veto that we will not be able to override. And that's, that's just, we're going to have to let the chips fall where they may on that. We have a job to do. We have bills that are important. The, the legislature, I think, has a responsibility to not adjourn before the Constitution requires us to, but I think our focus today should be on how do we help people? How do we help businesses? How do we keep people safe during this global pandemic? The Crime Victims Bill of Rights passed the House, meaning it'll be on your fall ballot again this year since it's a proposed constitutional amendment. Governor Bashir suggested lawmakers did not need to return. The remaining constitutional officers, all Republicans, released a statement that the governor put them in this position by refusing to call a special session after the pandemic has passed. We also today, Senate Majority Floor Leader Damon Thayer wants Governor Bashir to allow elective surgeries. He claims the governor's order means hospitals are losing more than $20 million per day. Hundreds have been laid off and COVID-19 hospitalization totals do not justify a continued ban. Minority Leader Morgan McGarvey disagrees. He says hospitals in his district are not asking for that change yet. They're concerned that it's not yet safe enough to do so. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News. And he's heard the governor to say he's not going to.